science always begins with a question inspired by an observation. Next step, as you might surmise, is to take your question and hypothesize. A hypothesis should include a prediction, an educated guess in a form of if-then. Like if science rapping is a memory aid, then better retention will be displayed. Now hypothesis set, you're ready for the next step performance of an experiment. The independent variables, what you test, dependent variables, the result you get. If you want to do science, use a scientific method, observe, hypothesize, then experiment. Want to do science? You better do it right. Now science well done's about taking control, cause clear results, that's your ultimate goal. To see if what you're testing is the cause of an effect, your design has to be perfect. Use two groups, control and experimental. Experimental gets your independent variable. Control groups the same, except for one move. The independent variable gets removed. Like to prove tobacco smoke is a cause of cancer, a good experiment will bring you the answer. Take two groups of guinea pigs or rats to test and make the groups large, that's statistically best. You gotta make them big, cause there's always random stuff, so a small group of subjects is never enough. You can get cancer even though you've never smoked, but a single case, well, that's just an anecdote. So set of two cages, exactly Exactly the same. Controlling variables is the name of the game. Experimental group smoke gets exposed, cause that's the independent variable you propose. If you want to do science, use a scientific method. Observe, hypothesize, then experiment. Want to do science? You better do it right. And I'm not saying science is always the way to get to the result. It won't tell you whom to love or what path to pursue. But amidst all this superstition and deceit, it gives you a path to consult. To cut through all the lies and confusion, and help you to come to your own conclusion. Your control group is smoke free, cause that's how you'll tell about the effect of your independent variable. After enough time, you'll examine your subjects to see if between them is a cancer rate difference. Cause cancer rates your dependent variable, it's what's caused by the independent variable, which in this case was smoke from tobacco leaves, which have forced the experimental group to breathe. And sure, it was secondhand smoke that you tested, so maybe your results will be contested. This happens to scientists all of the time, whenever there's a flaw in their design. Last step, try to publish in a scientific journal as you try to win science fame eternal. It's a never-ending process and it's awfully demanding, but that's how we build scientific understanding. If you want to do science, use a scientific method. Observe, hypothesize, then experiment. Want to do science? You better do it right. If you want to do science, use a scientific method. Observe, hypothesize, then experiment. Want to do science? You better do it right.